as you can see, I broke my XM Plus antenna. Um, I hit a pole. Anyways, um, for people that don't know how, I'm going to show you how to replace this real quick. Um, it's not too difficult. And I get the antennas, which are... I got the replacement antennas on Amazon and they're like 10 bucks for five or six of them or something like that. So it's pretty cheap to replace them. Um, but yeah, I'll get, I'm just going to take out the receiver and uh, go from there. I took the shrink wrap off and I put a little bit of hot glue to help support these uh, antennas. I'm just going to remove that and just pull that off. And they actually come with a little bit of glue on there also. But to take them off, it's pretty simple. You just kind of pop it off and pull it. And that's it. You can see it's popped off. I'm going to just kind of clean up some of this glue that's around here. So now that all the glue's cleaned off, or most of it, you can kind of see there's like a little outer circle, and then a little circle, and you can see on here there's a, it's kind of like a nipple on there, and the outside. So you kind of, you just put it over there, and you kind of you push on it, and you'll feel it pop. Once it's on there, just like that. And you can actually angle them if you want them different ways or whatnot. All right, now we put a little bit of glue. see how I did that. Let's do it and give it a little bit more support that way so that you don't have to worry about them just popping off those those little nipples. I don't know what else to call them besides nipples, but they look like nipples. And now that the hot glue's dried, we're just gonna put a little bit of shrink wrap on here. Just kind of cut it to the size you want. I just put the shrink wrap on that way it doesn't short with any of the carbon fiber that's on the frame. I might put it inside there. And just the last part, um, just remember if you're mounting these antennas for your first time, I think I learned something from probably Joshua and Barbell, but this white part right here, it doesn't really do you any good if it's crooked you know, or bent up or whatever. A lot of people just do their antennas up to that right before the white part or the exposed wire um, and then just let this flap in the wind. Um, and that's really not the best because you really want it to be straight 
that way it gets the full 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency um, so if it's crooked then it's not going to be as good signal uh, so that's the main thing so usually when I cut my my zip ties that I use as a tennis stands I do it right above there that way I have this all the way straight and then usually I put shrink wrap all the way down it um, but yeah that's about it for this tutorial if you have any questions just leave them below um, but yeah glad I can help you